welcome to Floyd Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Dragon's 144 Space Shuttle. Okay, this is the, quite a nice one. This one has the clear parts, it has the full interior. And to be honest, you're thinking 144 scale, that's going to be quite small. As a lot of you will know, I've built the 172nd one over there with the boosters and everything else, and it is massive. Don't be put off, this thing is a very large aircraft. You might not obviously think that when you see it strapped onto the rocket and being blasted up into space, but actually they are very, very large, the space shells. So anyway, run around on the box, we can see. Nice picture there of Atlantis coming into land. Okay, so on the little bit of detail running around here as you can see. And on here we've got your kit number which is 11004. Okay, we've got a little bit more down in here. And this is saying about it. So it does come with, as you can see, full interior detail, full engine detail, wing spars, etc. Full cockpit detail. And we even got a payload as well. Clear parts as well to show off the cockpits. If you did want to do it as an open um, or sort of a see-through part, you could do that. So that way it's showing all the thrusters and things like that. On the back of the box, we can see some more parts about it. So we've got the remote control arm as well for actually getting the payload out of the actual bay uh, and launched as well as all the other smaller detail parts as you can see. Nice touch that we have deflecting uh, ailerons which can actually be moved uh, on the aircraft itself. But again, showing the wing spars or some of more of the detail parts and detailed engines and stuff like that, okay? And again, it's all totally poseable, all the actual control surfaces, which is a very nice touch. So in the box, we are greeted by a load of sprues. Now this kit isn't too old. Uh, it's around about 2015. Okay, so what we'll do, we're just gonna grab that and we'll do that, okay. So the instructions themselves, a little bit tricky to see. We've got sprue layout just down on here. There's not too much to this by the looks of it. It is as simple as that, okay? So I don't know if we maybe had a run around on the, the closer cam, perhaps not, but I'll fit it all in. Okay, but basically starting off with, you're gonna be going through the internals, okay? So we're putting in the actual cargo bay down into there, the side walls, and then going onto the actual uh, main wing section underneath, ailerons being fitted down in there. Again, not gluing those so those are poseable. But again, we've got this part which is clear, which we'll have a, a little bit closer look at in a moment. Gear being fitted down underneath, and then we've actually got some holes that need to be bunged up. Now, again, we're assuming this comes with part of the system that originally uh, perhaps had the booster system with it and with the fuel tank. And obviously, I think that is the mounting point. So looking at my other one over there of how that would go. So again, a couple of things to fill in there. Then we have got this sort of detailed engines uh, section down at the back going together. Okay, we've got the cargo various things for the satellite system uh, and things like that being fitted in there and we've got the full internal cockpit as well okay those going in once you've done the subsections down on there you're going to be fitting those all into the actual rear parts uh, of the actual shuttle we've got the doors being fitted on the engines uh, things like that the rudder system and the tail going together and then we've actually got the side payload doors as well being fitted down in there then we're making our way to the front so again full detail on this one which is a very nice touch so as you can probably see down on here we've got the actual lower deck with all the instrumentation and all the various boxes being fitted down in there and then on the top again we've actually got the top deck which we did before being fitted down on and then we've got the thruster set for the thrusters on the front being fitted through nose gear going down again filling in the forward um, locating point okay down in there and then the forward fuselage pushes in onto the actual rear and the tail goes in simple as that okay then we actually get a nice little satellite as well something a little bit different so we've got a couple of the actual um uh, solar arrays on the outside the main unit itself and the bottom and then we're down in here into the markings of it and again nice touch with this one we do get all the tiling markings for the underside which was obviously the headache on my particular one all of those being fitted color call out's pretty much basic as you might imagine right the way through but we can see those on there like that so again not too much on the instructions decals i don't think we need to get out because they're in a nice clean clear bag but on the close-up you can probably see not tons of them but obviously you've got all the ones you need and the main ones is this tiling one okay so we've got the tiling ones going down in there just like that as you can see which is going to save you a lot of work and it does add that extra layer of detail down in here and the funny thing is it says Atlantis on the box but actually it looks like we only get discovery down here as a marking option now i know for a fact there's lots of aftermarket decals available for the space shuttle fleet so obviously it's an easy fix to go out and get those as well so bag time okay let me just pick a, a bag that's if we go in this end so usually we end on the clear sprues but seeing as we've got these here we'll start so as you can see very 
very clear actually in the bag they didn't look that clear so actually what you've got here on this sprue is a way that you can look inside the shuttle itself so actually what we've got is the tops of the wings which have got detail obviously all in those that will meet up with the lower section which we saw in a moment we've actually got a clear tail as well with this one and we've actually got clear uh, parts of the ailerons on the back and we've got the thrusters on the the rear for the engines as well not to mention this gorgeous cockpit which has got all that detail down in there. Now, it's always going to be the thing, doing a full interior aircraft of this size or a ship of this size, that you're going to lose all that detail down in there. I don't know the best way of actually having it open, but generally, I have to say, it is a nice touch. You have got that option there. I can imagine a lot of people just painting it because they just want a very nice shuttle, but actually, that's very nice. The big difference is, obviously... You can probably see on the front it's got the nice windows when i did mine mine's the old uh, ravel kit it's got the wrong windows because it's actually got uh, is it endeavor uh which was never made it into space so it's got the different windows these have got the correct shape windows on it so again really nice touch clean very clean very crisp molding no sign of anything at all as in sink marks flash all those things that is very nice indeed so uh, i'll tell you what because we just looked at that let's look at the underside up so down on the underside a couple of sprues okay so looking down on here this is the underside of the shuttle i thought we might have some little marks we have got a little you can see it on the camera catch it there you can see what we're going to look on the underside again it's not so much of a problem to if you wanted to to fill that but i think with the painting and with the tiling system you're not going to see it anyway uh, but if you wanted to there is a little bit of sink marks down in that rear just like that it's a little bit annoying it's there but when you flip over in a moment you'll see why underside of the nose we've got that detail down in there like that and then over here we've got the control surfaces this is the other half of that rudder obviously you've got one side in clear and things because when you flip it over as you can see, we have all the wing formers down in here, just like that. All the sections in there. We've got the full detail down in these. We've got the full detail in. Okay, we have got ejector pins in amongst this, which is really annoying because really, if you're going to be displaying it, you don't want to be showing ejector pins. So you might need to do something with this. But I'm thinking ahead on this one. Think of your options. You could add wiring detail into this. You could add cells into this one, various hydraulic lines, various things. So it looks fantastic to have it all opened up just like that. And again, on the nose section, the various parts. But that is what this kit is about. It's very transparent so you can see all the things down in there. Okay, so next up we've actually got the... Uh, this is the satellite, which is going to be on the side. You can see it's not done much to it. This is where your artistic license is going to come in there to sort of detail that up. Over on this side, we have the frame. Now, obviously, we don't have the tank to attach it to, but this would be uh, the actual frame system, which is going to mount the actual shuttle onto the fuel tank and then obviously onto the boosters. So from that point of view, we're not using that. The gear looks quite nice, though. Very good detail down in those. No problems at all with that. Very fine, small sprue gates. And again, some of the other parts down in here for the cargo. We've got the hatch at the back here, things like that. Very nice indeed. There is quite a lot of ejector pins on this, but again, they're not anywhere that really matters. They seem to be tucked out of the way, like over here on the array for the solar arrays. There's no ejector pins on those themselves. So again, that's not too bad. Okay, cargo doors. Now, if you've been watching the live show, the Live at Five Daily Show on Flory Models, you'll know we were talking about Dragon, and it seems to be they're re-releasing all of their uh, spacecraft, uh, which is a really nice touch. And obviously, this is the first one to come along. We've got the Saturn V uh, with the uh, Skylab uh, on the top of it, and we're expecting other things as well. Okay, so we've got sides of the fuselage down on here. We've actually got the cargo doors things. Again, recessed details, panelling. You name it, it's got it. All looking very nice. We've got the robotic arm as well. Very nice indeed. We do have interior ribbing. We've got no ejector pins inside those, which is a nice touch on any of those parts. Obviously, these you don't see anyway because it's part of the cargo set. So we're not worried about that. But that looks very nice indeed. No problem there. <clears throat> okay, so in the bag. Pop that one over there we got some more of the detailed areas. So we've got that internal uh, compartment that's going to go down in the lab like that. Some of the walls, internal details, again, really nice. Good level of detail down in these. The bulkheads, things like that, all being fitted in. 
And that actually looks very nice indeed. As you can see, loads of detail in this kit, which is a very, very nice touch. And the back one. Okay. So yeah, and obviously this is blindsided, so we're not going to see any of that anyway. So all on the one side. But again, you can probably see down in here some of the details looking very nice indeed. Okay, last up, we've got the rear for the actual engine set down in here. These uh, bottles for the thrusters, the actual engines themselves down on here, thrusters. We've got the command deck, uh, the seats for it, very basic, the thruster nozzles, all the thruster units and everything down for the front end. So again, you can see it's actually pretty good detail for a 144 scale kit. We know it's huge. The seats are a little bit, yeah, but the rest of it actually looks quite nice. Like this thruster assembly that's going to go down in the nose here. That's actually very, very nice indeed. So actually pretty good stuff. And these are the thrusters you can see down on here. That's pretty good. All of that. Again, really nice. I can't set fault it anywhere. The ejector pins look like they're all out of the way. A little bit of sinkage, uh, if we're saying the sink marks in that lower fuselage, that's a little bit of a pain. But when you flip it over and you see the other side, yeah, that's why it is there. It's very hard to get away with that, that type of injection molding. Really interesting subject. Again, it's one of those subjects where I think, okay, a lot of people perhaps would like it with the boosters and all the rest of it. But if you did want just perhaps the actual orbiter itself, perhaps even in somewhat of a would you can't call it an in-flight display, an in-space uh, display. So maybe actually having it with the doors all up, everything closed up, and then open on a nice little stand, something else like that. But again, if you're a sci-fi guy, or if you're actually a space person, and you wanted to detail this up, and obviously go to town, perhaps with internal lighting, perhaps with a lot of wiring inside, for the plumbing system in it, to show through those clear parts, to have it as a display model to show people exactly how the shuttle works, that's definitely a must kit for you. So there we go, that is Dragon's 144 scale Space Shuttle.